Hi, I'm Alpha, your support guy for FighterOS. It's been a while, I know. Um, many of you should know that um, FighterOS loves the Raspberry Pi. Um, making Chromium OS, OpenFight, and FighterOS to run on the Raspberry Pi SBC is one of the reasons that we still exist today. We are all thrilled for the debut of the new Raspberry Pi 5 at the end of the last year. Now, many of you have been asking if that would be a FighterOS release for the new Pi 5. Now, the team wants this as well, obviously, so we have been busy making this happen right after we receive the engineering samples from the Pi Foundation. So kudos for that. Now, I can finally show you um, the work product that we have been baking in the oven for the past few months. Uh, I, here I have FighterOS 17 running on a new Pi 5 alongside with uh, the official Raspberry Pi OS running on the same Pi with the identical configuration which is 8 gigs of RAM. Now I can't wait to give you a full demonstration of how FighterOS performs on this new toy um, in comparison with how it does on the official Raspberry Pi OS just to highlight some performance and user experience uh, advantages if you were to give FighterOS a try yourself. Now without any further ado, let's begin. First, let me go over the detailed setup that I have for this demonstration. As you can see, I have the OS running on a NVMe SSD drive connected via USB 3 instead of booting from the SD card. I also have wired network connection except for the part to test Wi-Fi performance. The Pi 5 is powered by the factory adapter which gives 5 volts and 5 amps via USB-C. This is important because not many Type-C adapters out there support this output. I also have the official PWM fan hooked on top of the SOC just for a little bit of coolness. The keyboard and the mouse uh, each take a USB 2 port to function. It's exactly the same for the other Pi that I have over here just to run Raspberry Pi OS. Here I have um, my FighterOS already set up so I can land on the desktop. I won't bore you with the initialization and basic customizations as they are pretty much self-explanatory. You may notice that the UI element is incredibly small at the moment. This is because I am demonstrating in full 4K resolution and 60 Hz refresh rate. This is the max that the uh, Pi 5 can handle. I left the screen scale factor to the default setting for the comparison with Raspberry Pi OS because you wouldn't have this option there. Okay, so let's begin from the basics, the smoothness of window maneuver. As you can see, I can drag the window and make it dance on the screen and it won't break a sweat. Same as resizing the window. Launching applications like uh, the Chromium browser is also like a breeze. You get instant responses as you would expect for normal PC. Moving on to the Raspberry Pi OS. First, we make sure that the screen settings are the same as Fight OS, which is 3A40 times 2160. That's 4K with 60 Hz. Now, when I launch the stock Chromium browser whilst moving my mouse cursor, I get a temporary stutter as the CPU usage spikes. Let me close it down and do that again. Notice that the uh, cursor was jumping pixels and not moving in a continuous path. Luckily, you won't have this with Fight OS. Dragging a window and moving it quickly doesn't show much of an issue though. Okay, coming back to FightOS. Let's do some YouTube video playback, shall we? Let me bring up the nerdy stats and make it go full screen. This video begins with 1080p at 30fps. Uh, we do see some dropped frames here, but the number stabilizes at 110. And we can see that the video is playing really nicely in the background here. Let me uh, up my game by going up to 1440p, that's 2K. And you can see some stutter happen because of the cursor movement and quality changes. These all cost precious resources. Luckily, the video playback stabilizes again, but we do have minor frame drops. Almost negligible though, if you don't bring up the stats. What happens if I turn it up all the way to 4K? Yep, uh, you will struggle, as pretty much expected. But there is plenty of room to improve here, to add hardware video decoding, for example. Something to look for in the future releases, perhaps. 
Now, because screen refresh rate is now 60 hertz, we might as well give 60 FPS videos a try. Once again, let's go full screen and bring up stats for nerds. This video begins with 1080p at 60 FPS. Unfortunately, even though the playback seems smooth, the dropped frame counter has been quite busy and it doesn't seem to be able to stabilize. One thing we can try though, is to lower the screen resolution from 4K to 2K and give it a try again to see if there's any joy. As you can see, it does help. The dropped frame stabilized at around 300 and it just stopped. Going one level up to 2K video at 60 FPS with 2K screen resolution. We're in a similar situation as if the screen resolution was 4K, only the rate of frame drop is higher and somehow maybe not so negligible this time. Going up to 4K 60 FPS will definitely give it a hard time. What's happening with the Raspberry Pi OS then, you may wonder. Let's switch to it and first we make sure that the screen is at 4K 60 Hz. Then we fire up the Chromium browser and play the same 30 FPS video. Beginning from 720p at 30 FPS and unfortunately uh, the frame drop counter never stops. Going up with the quality will obviously only make it worse. Let me try the same thing by lowering the um, screen resolution from 4K to 2K and try everything again. Happy to see that it handles uh, 1080p at 30 FPS without a problem. But um, at uh, 1440, that's 2K 30 FPS, uh, it starts to struggle again. At 4K, it's almost unplayable. To better put the difference in browser performance between the Raspberry Pi OS and Fido OS in perspective, I will run some well-known browser benchmark tests on the two Pis side by side, and you will see the numerical results in comparison. Please note that the Pi on the right runs Fido OS in this section of the video. The benchmark tools used here and the results will be listed in the description of this video if you wish to try and verify them yourself. First, it's the Basemark Web 3.0 offered by Basemark.com. It's a comprehensive test suite and it took about 15 minutes to finish the whole sequence of the tests, covering graphics, JavaScript, WebAssembly and whatnot. Followed by the Gestream 2 offered by Browserbench.org which focuses on the JavaScript capabilities. At this time, we see the Raspberry Pi OS has a slightly higher score. Then comes the motion mark, also from browserbench.org. Unfortunately, the result from Raspberry Pi OS is clearly wonky as it's so low with a huge confidence range. We did notice some graphics patterns did not display quite right for the Raspberry Pi OS, hence the result perhaps. Finally, the speedometer. This is a close one. Let's try one more thing before moving on to the subsystems. Having all those wires isn't quite as convenient for a portable PC, so many of you would like to go wireless. This is what I have done by disconnecting all the USB 2 connections and also dropping the wired Ethernet. The Pi is now on 5GHz Wi-Fi and has three active Bluetooth devices attached simultaneously. It doesn't introduce any noticeable difference when using the OS. I will run an internet speed test from the browser to verify that the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi is actually working. My downstream bandwidth is 200 megabits, so the result is actually not bad. I will also play a YouTube video with sound on so you can 
see that the Bluetooth speaker is also working as expected. Moving on, Android gaming. The one reason many of you prefer FileOS over other alternatives. I know, right? Here I have prepared to give you a demonstration of two Android games and show you the actual gameplay experience. In the following part of this video, the screen resolution is reduced to 2K 60Hz instead of 4K, which gives a higher frame rate and thus a much smoother gaming experience. The first one, Alto's Odyssey, an award-winning relaxation game with absolutely beautiful graphics and music. It's easy to play as well, you only need to use one finger. And a good sense of timing, obviously. Next, Asphalt 8, a mouse keyboard supported racing game with all the bells and whistles. This game requires much more computational and graphics juice than the previous Alto's Odyssey. See for yourself how it performs here with FileOS on Raspberry Pi 5. Right, finally, there are times when we need to get some work done. And thanks to the Linux subsystem, FileOS can run those productivity applications that are widely available on mainstream Linux distros. Here I already found this free Photoshop mockup file, which happens to be gigantic. Let me download it first. Whilst downloading, I'm going to my Figma and exporting a FileOS logo in circular shape, PNG, and let me make it bigger by 10 times the size. You can probably guess what I would do next. Let me collect all the necessary files and copy them onto my Linux files folder and fire up GIMP. Look at how fast this thing loads. Opening a large PSD file within GIMP doesn't seem to cause any issues. We can also quickly navigate through the image, zoom in and out using keyboard and mouse, like you would on a real PC. To complete my work of art, I can open up the FileOS logo in the Files app, copy it and paste it into GIMP. With a little bit of resizing and maneuver, ta-da, here is what I ended up with. Admittedly, I am not pro in using GIMP, but if you are, I'm sure you know much better ways in completing the tasks. And our job is to make sure GIMP and all other apps you need run smoothly on FileOS when you need them. Okay, so if you like what you're seeing and you happen to have one of these Raspberry Pi 5, um, you'll be pleased to know that FileOS for Raspberry Pi 5 is now available to download at FileOS.io um, slash download. Um, give it a try yourself and let us know how it goes. You can talk to us at our Discord server, our Telegram group, or post in our community. One last thing, there will be news for uh, FileOS 18, FileOS AI, and the FireTap Duo in the coming weeks in 2024. If you are interested, please stay tuned in this channel. Until next time then, ciao.